Welcome everyone to my first PHP programming tutorial. And to start out this tutorial, we're going to be making a web page where you submit, say, a username and password, and a very, very simple login um, type thing. So starting off, we need to declare, and this is HTML, uh, a form. And for the action, we're going to put um, test.php, because that is the PHP page that we'll be submitting it to, which is the one we're currently working on. Um, and the action basically says which form receives the data. The method is going to be a post. Alright, that's pretty simple. So you can end that here. I'm using Aptana Studio. You can also use Eclipse to do this part. Um, uh, also for my uploading, I use FileZilla. So. What we want to add now are the inputs. So we're going to do, let's give it a title. So let's go um, B for bold, and we'll do uh, user name. And then do a line break, just like that. Then underneath, we'll do input type equals, um, and this is going to be text for the username. So basically, the input declares a field that's used by um, the, the, the web page to submit that information. You'll understand what that is later. Um, it's like basically a text box. So um, name, we'll need to give it a name. We'll call it uh, user. And then let's see, what else? We got a type, a name, don't need a value. I think that's all we'll need for now. If we want to do styling, we need probably some other stuff, but for now we'll just do this. And then bold. Oops. Just like that. And then here and here we'll do password. There we go. So now we have a username, password, and we're going to just copy this thing down here. And this type is going to be password, just like that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and save that and upload that. And then um, I will go over here to my web browser. Oh, I had YouTube open. <laughs> and go ahead and refresh this. Now we have a username and password. And in fact, let's do a line break here and here just like that and you'll see they'll move down to a more vertical type position so let's refresh this again there you go username password you can type in here type in here nothing happens and last thing we need to submit or last thing we need to add to this form is a submit so I input type equals submit just like that. Uh, name, we don't need a name because we're not retrieving the value on this, but we will need a value and we'll call it um, login. And then um, just like so. And we'll want another line break here, just like that. Upload this. Refresh. And now we have a login button. Um, now, if you don't have your own website, you can always use, um, I think it's, it's WAMP or XAMP, or XAMP, but um, here, I'll actually, really quick here, wrong button, do WAMP, just like so, and here you go. You can use this software in order to put up a virtual site on your own computer, so you can do testing. Um, so it's pretty easy there. I'll put the link in the description. Now, let's do something with this. So right now you can type stuff in and nothing happens. It just submits it. So what we want to do is go here and then retrieve that information. Now in order to retrieve it, we'll first assign a variable. We'll call this user. For every variable that you define, um, you put a dollar sign. And if you don't know what a variable is yet, you'll, you'll see later. Um, it's kind of like algebra where you have x and a and b represented in letters for values. So this represents a value. Um, and then we go is equal to 
post because we defined it as a post method down here. And then up here we're going to do like so and put in the name, so user, because we have the name user here. And then what we'll do is do another value for the password equals and another post of these. And basically what the post value is, is an array. And that's a little bit, um, you don't need to know what that is right now, but that's a little bit more complicated. But inside of this array, we're specifying um, the value. Oh, I need to change his name here to like pass for uh, password. All right, and now here's what it will do. Down here we'll go echo, and then those colons, and then we're gonna do semicolon, and inside here we'll say you, we'll say you enter, or your user name is, we'll do semicolon, space, and then on then here we're gonna do dot to attach the user value on the end there. And that is retrieved from here, which comes from here. So whatever you type in the text will be added on there. And then we'll also do echo um, your password is, and then um, semicolon space, just like the other one, dot pass. All right, now let's go ahead and upload that. So it uploads it. Then we go here and we'll go FNF5. Uh, let me get this refreshed. And now, right now, there's no value for user, name, or password. So there isn't anything in there. I probably should have put a line break in there. But yeah. Uh, so let's type in, let's see. Yeah, Brandon. Just my name. And then password, we'll say password. And we hit enter. It says your username is Brandon right here. Your password is password. Now, that's probably not a really good thing to do, um, giving away username and passwords, and I'm gonna add a line break in here. Um, but, we'll test that out. But I'll show you how to do something with it that's um, kind of like a simple login. So we'll do FNF5 again. There it is, um, with a line break added. So, what if we want to do like a login type thing? Well, we probably want the login information to go underneath this. So what we're going to do is underneath HTML, we're going to do a question mark, comma, I mean not comma, question mark, right here like that. But it's first it's the, the comma button with a like shift comma, and then um, PHP, and then you do question mark and then the end bracket there. Give us some space to work with, and down here we'll go, um, oh, I already deleted that from there, so here we'll go if um, user is equal to um, test and um, password is equal to QWERTY, which never ever uses the password QWERTY. It's terrible. Like, First thing I'll try, <laughs> not like I would be trying to get into anyone's accounts, but that'd be the first one I'd try. Um, or one, two, three, four, five, never use those as your password unless you just don't care. And then the else statement determines what code will execute if these are not true, or either one of them is not true. So if it is a correct username and password, we'll echo super top secret info, okay? And if it's not, echo failed to log in. Real simple. We'll go ahead and save that, and we're going to upload that. Let's go test it out. Refresh this page again. Oh, we failed to log in because the previous password that I put in when I refreshed it was Brandon and password. So now let's try, like, Something like that and something like this. Clearly this won't this won't work. It'll say failed to log in. But if we do do test and um, one or actually QWERTY, it'll say super top secret information. 
that's our how logins work. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, tell me what else you want to see me do here, and I'll continue doing more things. Um, ordinarily, you wouldn't have it hard-coded in like this. You'd have it draw the password from the database and check to see if it matched. Um, that way you'd have people creating accounts instead of just one account like this. Um, so I will show how to do that eventually, but not quite yet. Um, I'll see everyone later, later, and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial.